How do you feel about the, is the wax, so the, okay, so this is the most important thing is before you start adding the stencils, do you feel like the wax is flat? Um, it, I mean, no, it's not completely flat. Okay, so let's stop for a second, take the stencils off and let's spend some time making that surface nice and flat because you don't want to start putting stencils on there if your surface isn't flat because the stencils basically wipe won't turn out. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I worked a little bit with the iron. Mm -hmm. um, How do you like the little iron? You love it? I do like it a lot. It doesn't like, it does, I mean, I like it. It gets rid of bumps, but it doesn't smooth the areas. It should totally be smoothing the area. So why do you feel like it's not smoothing the area? Is that, are the, is it too thick? Like, for instance, there was a bump here. Uh -huh. I put it on here and it just kind of went away. It, and another, and here too. Okay, so that's working for you. It's working for me, but I feel like it also breaks it up. You know, like you feel like the wax is thick enough. Maybe the wax isn't thick enough. Do you think it's? I think you're right. The wax is not thick enough. So it sounds to me like if it's not working well, it means that the wax isn't maybe thick enough, and that yes. it's not. Because technically what happens is that if the wax heats up and you push on it, it should just like blend with other wax. Yeah, no, it goes away and leaves me empty spots. Well, then that means that, that you're too close to the paper and your yeah. wax isn't actually thick enough. Right. That's what I'm suspecting. Yeah. So that's like one of the challenges of not like physically being there with you, but from what you're saying, and I'm yeah. sorry, it's just, you have to describe things for me because I can only... I can only yeah. see so much. No, I think what you're making, what you say makes complete sense. Okay. That's my feeling with this is that the wax is very thin on the whole. Right. Okay. So, so basically what we did last session is we worked on composition and sort of this creative idea um, about these shapes. Yes. These okay. So now what I think we should do is I think we should use the wax medium and we should almost do like another base coat like wax medium coat um not all necessarily over. all not necessarily all over but oh. definitely along that along that top part and along yeah. the side yeah a uh, sort of around her okay do you feel like the do you feel like the wax over her is smooth enough is it thick um, enough? Pretty smooth. Okay, is it thick enough? Um, I don't think it's as thick as I'm used with everything else. Okay, so let's add, so maybe we need to, let's add a nice, let's add, get that big brush. Big brush. Yeah, big brush. And let's add a nice um, coat over the whole, over the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So perhaps... Should I go bigger than this? No, that's perfect. Okay. Whew, take a deep breath. So think, yep, very, I like that. Yep. Crisscross, huh? Yeah, or, uh, uh, yeah, I like, I think so. And then I think when you fuse it, that'll make it nice and flat.
think too, sometimes knowing when there's enough wax or when to add wax or when, yeah. but if you're struggling and make, if you're struggling to make it smooth, to me, that sounds like you don't have enough wax. Yeah, I think you were really right on with that. Um, I find that the more wax, the smoother it is, but. Right. Well, actually, okay. So say like the first layer is always easy to get smooth because then there's nothing. And then like, then the second layer is hard, but then when you add more, it gets easy again. I don't know. It's like, yeah. Okay. I think I went over the whole thing. So now I will use the whole thing. Okay. You know, I told you a few weeks ago, I spilled my wax on the floor. Yeah, you did. It's taken weeks. Oh, no. Clean it up. Oh, no. You know what you can do, too? Why don't you invest in some cheap um, work mats? Do what? Invest in some really inexpensive throwaway work mats. Mats. Yeah, like um, like garage, like things they sell for like the car garage. So in case, okay. And then you just can, who cares? Like if you get if you spill on it, you you're gonna throw it away anyway. Oh my God. Oh. I work. I have mats in my studio just because my floor is is concrete. Uh huh. Oh yeah, nice. So I need something to stand on, but you could have something in there, just like a rubber mat, almost like a bath mat, just something inexpensive. Uh -huh. Okay. And three quarters of the way of the way there. Take your time. This is part of it. Almost finished. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks really flat from over here, but bring it closer to the. Oh, it looks super flat from over here. It looks really flat. The only thing it has, I think maybe it was the way I was brushing. Uh huh. I have lines over here, just here. Okay. Well, I mean, there are some areas that are thicker than other places. So, um, why don't you use a scraper? Yeah. Okay. I put this. The thing with the line is it's probably going up and down. So what I would do yeah. is scrape the other way. Yeah, you just want to, yeah, exactly. So you want to blend the line out. So go against the direction of the line. I'm creating other lines now. Well, yeah, but yeah, so don't put so much pressure. Scrape yeah. later. Okay. 
Do you feel I'm blending out? Yeah. Okay, same. good. I mean, the piece is still warm. That's okay. So just scrape gently so that you're not like making um, a dent. A dent, yeah. And remember, wherever you're going to put the stencil on there, it's got to be really smooth, like glass. Uh huh. Or else the stencil can't lay down properly. Uh huh. So that's why we gave it a coat. Yeah, that's why we gave it an extra coat because we're adding a, um, a sort of a layer there to make it nice and smooth as a as a underneath for the stencil. Now, if you wanted to scrape away some of the wax on her face to make her eyes sharper or her mouth more in focus, you can reduce the wax on her face by going like in a, um, I do like a semicircle along her cheek line so that you're just scraping away the wax over her eye. You're not like digging out, you're just like reducing that whole, don't try to cut it out. I would just try to. Hmm. Yep, there you go. Yeah, just take some of the wax off her face so that her face is sharp. If you wanna see it more clearly. Mm -hmm. Very little, I think I removed. Well, you can, yeah, but her face looks, I can see her eyes. I can see her No, I can see her. Did I go more into her eyes? I don't think so. I can see her. Are you happy oh. with it? Yeah, I am. Okay. No, then let it, no, leave it there. Okay. I'm just feeling the surface to see what, yeah, okay. So one thing we were going to do was last time I was going to put the leaves. Yep. Um, so are we looking at this leaf? I would do I would do them all. And then if I didn't like them, I would take them off, but I wouldn't put, I would move them over to the left. I wouldn't have the stem, consider the stems like connecting into her hair more organically and no, not so close to her face. Like this? Yeah, or lower. I wanna see them like even, like think about them. If you were gonna put them in her hair, you would probably tuck them like below her ear or behind her ear. Where's her ear? Yeah, I- You can't see, but I guess- Okay, so don't go, yeah, I wouldn't put them over that flower. They have to go behind the flower. Yep, and a little bit, yeah, and a little bit either up or to the left or something. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Um, I just don't wonder if it's kind of out of proportion. Should it have been coming from here? Well, let's look at it. Try. Well, the it idea, okay, flower. wait. Look wait, the, 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 I, the idea is that if it's coming, if it's getting bigger as it's coming towards you, that is like it's coming out of the picture and, uh -huh. right? So that could be a neat idea. Like it's three dimensional and it's coming out. Mm -hmm. If you want it to go back, 
then it should go higher, I guess. Or I was gonna say maybe this point should be here. Like, All right. Let's say move it. Like. But angle down, yeah. Like this. Yeah, but don't do the un don't do that one at the bot. Don't do the one in the don't do the one that's on her cheek. This one. Yeah, don't do that one. So put masking yeah. tape on it. Go get yeah. some, a piece of masking tape and just put it on there. As I'll forget. Yeah. yeah, you can block it. You can block it with the masking tape. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. And then what color, I guess? Green? Well, either dark gray, black, green, uh, dark brown. You have a lot of choices. I want to say dark gray now. Okay. Or uh, what about, uh, yeah. Something to kind of go with the rest of the environment. Um, this is where you kind of have to rely on your um do i use do you this can rely one on your intuition I mean, I like the idea of dark gray. If you go a little bit lighter, you can always make it darker, right? Okay. Like, don't go darker. Well, like her hair. Yeah, you can go. Sure. Should I block this one too? Which one? The one at the top? Yeah, I think, I think so. I don't, that one doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, block it. Unless I bring it over and later do it. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. I like it. Should I put other stencils in? Um, or more not right now. Let's do one at a time. Let's not, don't get over, don't get overwhelmed. Okay. Um, I don't think you should try to do. I get so confused with the, huh? yeah, with the different, whether it's wax or stain. Okay, so. All right, but think about it as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? So the bread is the wax medium and then you can put, you know, the paint, the paint on, and then the pigments. I usually do one, two, three, like I'm building up. Yeah, it's like the pigment sticks are at the end. Yep, pigment sticks are at the end, exactly. So it's one, two, three, one being the wax medium, two is the encaustic paint, three is the pigment stick. You should write that down somewhere so that you have it. I mean, I, I know it, but like, I look at it and I'm like, wait, which one was this? Cause they look, okay. So first is wax medium. And two is, and um, what do you call this? Encaustic. Encaustic paint. You can call it wax paint if that's easier. Just call it wax paint. Wax paint, yeah. 
So it's really good to remember too, um, wax medium, wax paint, oil paint, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Now, technically, technically you can go one, two, three, or you can revert, you know, you can, you can duplicate. You could go one, two, one, two, right? You can go. The three go, is at the end. Yeah, but you can paint over that again if you want to. Oh, okay. You could, it's possible. Okay. I, d I don't because I like the paint on top. I think yeah. that, that works. Gray and white. I think there's got to be a better way to. I got completely organized in here today. And. Oh, that's great. So. So something that I do um, sometimes is take a bunch of colors out that I think that I want the piece to have in it. And I put them on the panel and I take a picture. So I pick the colors of paint that I want to use for the whole piece at uh -huh. one, in the beginning. Okay, yeah, that's good. And I've been working in um, duo tones. So um, basically, like I've been looking at the color wheel and thinking about color combinations. So whether it's green and purple or orange and blue or um, so plan it instead of just kind of yeah plan it instead of winging it so you've already have a bunch of colors in there okay. so i would repeat them or variations of those colors so you already have pink and green and gray mm -hmm. i would keep those colors right if you wanted so to this. use if you wanted to use red as a uh, as or you know red and purple as sort of accents to the pink you could or even orange i see okay um i mean these are your color choices if you want to keep it very minimal i mean it's like it looks white but it melts a little with green huh this is more white so I have, and this looks gray, but when it melts, it has brown in it. <laughs> well, is that, that a lot of the paints are made with other colors in it. So they have like cast uh -huh. them. Is that, so we I have, have these, um, which we we'll call it stencil, stencil brush. brushes. Uh -huh. Should I use this? Is it? I, you don't need it, no. No? You don't need it. Is it? Is that wax on it? I know, it seems like really stiff. Well, you have to heat it up then. You have to put it, just lay it sideways on the hot plate. Now, do you have a mud, do you have a mud pot? I'm gonna start another one, yes. Okay. But you need something to clean your brushes on. Yeah. That got totally brown now. What, the paint color? The gray became brown. That's see, so this is the gray. Yeah, I don't know. If that, could... Yeah, I see it. How could that be brown? I don't That's know. That's weird. Is there dirt? Is, it, is there something on your plate? No, it's just like goes. And when it gets warm. How hot is your griddle? 175. Oh no, that should be fine. I mean, I have no I idea. I almost want to send a picture to you, but. Oh my God, that's like weird. That is just weird. Yeah. Now more, more of it. Okay, this one, mid-tone gray. Okay. Okay, well. They all look like they have pink or brown. 
That's so bizarre. I don't, I mean, you can, yeah. you can clean your palette and start again. If you want, you can use, take a paper towel and wipe the palette off and start over. I mean, I wiped it before earlier today. Uh huh. I don't think it's my palette. What it ha you would think it has to be. I think maybe it's the paint that has midtone gray. But I mean, even looking at it, I can see there's pink in the gray. <laughs> yeah, but not that much. Not that, yeah. that much. Yeah. This one is jet black. So I'll do black with white, maybe. Yeah, maybe if you feel like making a new one. Yeah. That seems odd. Okay. Is it better? Yes, this is gray now, the black and <laughs> That is so funny. Imagine, you should, you should, it magically change co colors. It magically Wait. changes colors. Okay, I'll send it to you. Oh my God. The paint that changes colors. Great. Yeah, I don't get it, but. Sometimes when the palette is too hot, the, the paint will like heat up. Did you see that? No, I'm gonna look right now. Let me see. I just texted it to you. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty color though. It's kind of a rusty. Was it on the brush? No, because I hadn't even used the brush. I just melted it on there. It must have, you know what? It must have been like on the end of the stick. And it could have been even with like a pigment. It must have been contaminated by something. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's a pretty color. You can definitely use that color. I like it. Okay. Now I've got my gray. Just dab it. You don't need to put that much pressure down there. Oh, okay. You should just, and if you need, look, add more wax medium to it if it's not flowing. Remember, it's like um, the wax medium is like lard, right? It's like oil. Okay. It's like when you're cooking, you need some grease. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I think it was. Also, the paints are too expensive not to put medium in them. Yes. And just dab it in the stencil. You don't need to, yeah, it's hard to just. Yeah, it looks nice. Like you're getting some flow there. Yeah. Okay, so the holes need to be completely covered. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't cover them, you're just gonna not have a, a shape there. But the other thing you can do is you can, yeah, that looks, that should be good. 
You feel like all your stencil is filled in. Now, what I would do is since you have that color, yeah, that looks good. Since you have that color gray, do you see any other places in the composition that you could add that color gray? Well, I also want to fix this little area. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things I always do is if I have it on my hot plate, I use it up. I don't like to waste the paint. Right. So add it there. And maybe in some of those flower forms that are gray or dark gray, the ones on the right side of the panel, you can add some gray to there. So just look at the panel and think like, where else could you add? Oh. And maybe you want to use a smaller brush. Yeah, and it got too dark, so. Well, you could fuse it and scrape it back. Uh, you can add some wax medium to it. Yeah, I need to scrape it back. So I have to fuse it before. Don't fuse your stencil. Okay, I'm sorry, what'd you say about stencil? Don't fuse the stencil. I would pull the stencil up too before it gets too hard. Otherwise it will rip the stencil. So do that first, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> that looks good. That looks really good. And I love, I love how those two little leaves went over the pink. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I love them. Really nice. Okay, so I would add dark gray on the right under her ear, along her hairline, on that flower. I would also, just brush some. No, on the right side. That's to me, that's the left side. Okay. So you're saying brush some here. Yep. Yep. Anywhere you see dark gray in the composition, uh -huh. add, add that gray wax paint. Okay. So that's what we're going to call the colored wax. We're just going to call it wax paint, means it has a color in it. Okay. Okay. So, um, well, without a shape or anywhere you see gray, like if it's a leaf or a flower or um, part of the picture or a shadow, anywhere you see that color, add that color. Oops. I dropped on her forehead. Okay, well, don't worry about it. We'll scrape it off. Nice. Okay, when you've used it all up and you feel like you're done painting, then you can go ahead and fuse it. Okay. And then you can scrape it back a little bit. You know, I took a picture of a piece you did. Uh-huh. Um, where did I put? I printed it. Because I wanted to ask you. Oh, yeah, that one's, yep, yep. So I was like, this flower. That's a collage. I collaged it and then I painted it. So you use different brush and you just. I didn't, I collaged, it was, I collage, it was in the collage and then I put just wax on it. Oh. And then I painted it. I don't, there wasn't a stencil there. Yeah, the collage itself had the color paints. No, the collage itself was a black and white rose. Uh-huh. And then I painted it. Yeah, I would love to learn how to paint. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Yep, it's just using your finger and using different coat. It's all done with the pigment stick. Oh, it's the pigment stick. Yeah. Yep, all done with the pigment stick. So anything that looks like that, that kind of blends together. 
yes. very nicely is done with pigment sticks. Yes. Because I mix the colors um, on the wax paper and then I just kind of layer them in there with my finger. Uh-huh, right. That might be my greatest talent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have many. No, I, I mean, I just think that like, you know, learning to paint flowers and actually there's a lot of books and stuff about learning to paint flowers that are pretty informative. Yeah. But I, I never, I never used the book. I just did it. I mean, I just basically practiced. Uh huh. And I use, I was able I use the shading of the pictures uh -huh. to help me. The, the thing with the stencils is that it's one solid color. So then you kind of have to ask your brain where are the highlights and where are the shadows? I see. So when you put that in, then you see where the lights are. And where the, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're painting something that is a photograph or is um, a graphic design or something, then it already tends to have the lights and the darks in there. Right. And then you're just right. using color to sort of translate that. But when you have something like a stencil that's one solid color, you have to add it. Then you have to, okay, like this thing that we have here now. Yeah, but there are a lot of books that I've used and looked at. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll show you this one book. It's in the other room. Um, actually, I can go get it. While you're doing that, I'll go get it. Okay. Okay, so you fused it, and now are you gonna scrape scrape it back to blend it? I scraped the drop that I had on her face. Um, maybe there's still a little. So the gray is there for us to later with the pigment stick, 
give it some dimension. Shaving. Yeah, well, right. So you could add green to it. You could add light and white and black. Yeah, right. Okay, so now you are gonna add some other stencils, some flowers. Okay. So my recommendation to start out is because you're using white flowers on the left and we use the white gesso is that you do, yeah, that you follow that theme and you do some white, white flowers. Here. Yep, and then what other color flowers do you want? Do you wanna do purple flowers, red flowers? What yeah, I think like um, variations of the pink and the green and the gray. All right, well, the green is gonna be in the leaves, so let's not make any of the flowers green. Okay. But let's do the flowers in, um, so you do red, pink, white. Okay. okay. So you could technically put all three of those colors on your hot plate with the wax paint. And then you could pick the flower stencils you're gonna add in there. So I put red, you said red and white on my? Yeah, red and white. So you, if you have a good red, red is a funny color. Like I don't tend to buy red, but um, I use, I tend to use magenta or red earth or paint or brown pink. I don't tend to use red encaustic paint. I don't buy it. Yeah. I don't have any, I've never had any. It's weird. I, I so. You just mix more than. I mean, between brown and red, sometimes it's hard to tell them apart. Right, and I actually prefer brown, like shades of brownie red or burgundy or to red itself. I don't tend to like red. Okay. But I, but I, but sometimes I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I like the orangier reds or the more purple reds. Warmer, warmer red are cool. Algerian. So yeah, Algerian red, magenta. Purple. What? I think I mix purple with white. Oh, that must be pretty. Yeah, lavender. It looks like a, yeah. So now, oh, I have to do the stencil first. I forgot. Um, oh, pick the, did you pick some flower stencils you liked? Um, I mean, I like these. Yeah, I, yeah. I like to, I like them too. And I like them that they're different sizes. Or, oh yeah. And I like, yeah, I like all three of those. Geez, okay. Yeah. And did you lay them out where you wanted them? No, I forgot about that. So I'm doing it now. Yeah. And don't be, yeah, that's fine. Maybe the larger one here. Maybe smaller one. Off the I like, bed. is that the largest one? I think I like the largest one to the left. I'll put this on the left. Yeah, because there, well, there actually is one in the photograph. Yeah, there's one big one here. Yeah, I would just put it right on there. That's right here. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then. Yeah, one of that, that, 
Yeah, where on your elbow? Uh, yeah, right. I would do one right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There was a rose here, but okay. This way. And then, and then this one, maybe here. No. No. I, I would put it over where the other ones are, where the other white ones are. Like here? Yeah, but you can do it more than one time. Okay. Yeah. I do think you need something at the bottom there. No, yeah, on the right. Do it on the right first. Do, yeah, over there. Yeah. Mm, nope, like over top of that gray. And then over to the left. No, down. Nope, down. Back where you are on, the, on top of the polka dots, but just low on the gray. You mean here? Uh oh. Oh, oh. oh yeah. No. Uh. Are you talking about this gray? Yeah, this that gray. Yeah, right there. Nope, over to the right, over towards the hot plate. Down a little bit. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then which, what colors are they gonna be? So I think that the one, the big one should be white. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so and the nice thing about doing them all at the same time is that there'll be like variations of whatever colors you're putting together on the hot plate, right? Uh-huh, yes. That's what I was hoping. So they'll somehow be connected like it's the same flowers. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, the bottom one will have a little more color, maybe? Well, you can, yeah, you can add or subtract the color as you feel, feel like it. You can modify the color. You could warm it up by adding yellow or cool it down, right? By adding purple. Yeah, I added more purple to it. Yes. Okay. Then we the brush for the white. Pure white, right? Yeah, well, yeah, but add a little accent color to it. Later, huh? No, now you can add a little, if you have a little pink, add a little pink to the wax paint, that's fine. Okay. I like to add gradients, so to speak, to I don't like to just stencil um, exact flat. Right. One color. I just think it yes. makes it easier to paint it if there's already a little bit of, of 
color change or shadows and highlights or something happening in the paint already. Mm -hmm. It just seems more realistic. I see. Okay, I shall remove. Yeah, do the big reveal. <laughs> Exciting. Okay. Uh, this got a little messed up. That's okay, we don't want them to be perfect. Yeah. That's, so not the goal. That's not the goal here. This is the wrong medium for perfection. Good. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it. I'm sure it is. You gotta keep just reminding yourself that's okay. Oh yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Wow. I love this here. This worked out. Yeah. Well, that's like a focal point, right? So the most important part of the picture is that flower and her eyes and that flow to the left, right? So everything else can kind of get waxier and nothing needs to be as sharp or as important as that, right? Okay, okay so- I'll fuse it? Yep, gently. Or do I use some of this color somewhere else like you nope, were saying? Nope, fuse it. Just fuse it. Yep. Oh yeah, I see what the problem was with that. What? It had little lines inside the flower petal. And when you put too thick of a paint, it oh, kind of, when you're there. using it, it kind of, see that happened here and here. I think I'm learning that maybe I should put less paint on the stencil. Okay. Well, you can always go back over the flowers and you, um, with a tool and you can draw into the flowers or remove some of the wax if you feel like there's... Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'll do that. Like I have... This tool, yeah, it's hard for me, but it's hard for me. Oh, to do the drawing? We'll just do little mark, made, just do little mark marks in it that will add up to a bigger mark, so to speak. Line. Don't try to do a line. Huh. And you know, it's psychological too, because the more I think about it, uh -huh. the worse it gets. But if I'm not yeah, don't worried it, about it. Yeah, don't give it attention. Just, just, and look, this is the thing. This is why everybody, why, this is why people can be artists is that everybody has their own physicality to the art. And that's part of it. That's its, authentic, that's its authenticity. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, a computer can draw a straight line. It's great. Good for it.
So the white's really popping off of there too because the wax medium, remember, has like a slightly like yellow tint to it. Uh huh. So the white is really popping, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, it has some lavender in it, but. So some of it is still raised. So what do I do at this point? Like this is still has parts that are raised. Well, you just have to kind of decide if you like it or you don't like it. Oh, okay. I mean, there's no right or wrong. That's not like, um, that's not a thing. Like it's not, it's not uh, a rule that it has to be totally flat. Okay. If you exactly. wanted to add, if you wanted to add another stencil on top of it, it would probably be a good idea that it was flat or the stencil will have a hard time laying down there. If that's gonna be, if that already doesn't need, now another stencil, it can be bumpy. If you wanted to add um, more wax medium on top of the flower, that would flatten it. Oh, like, I don't know if you can see. I can see like it. You could want to try These little things it. sticking up. Yeah, why don't you try to use your iron? Okay. On the flower. Yeah, why don't you try to use the iron on the flower and see okay. if that helps it? I mean, really, to be honest with you, I don't mind it having a three-dimensional thing, but I just don't want it to appear sloppy. Okay. Well, that this is entirely... Um, this is a, My call. It's, yeah, it's entirely your call, exactly. I mean, you want the flowers to look like, in reality, they might be textured, right? There might be some seed pods or, you know, something, something on it, right? Wow. Okay. So that's entirely up to you. And when you put the pigment sticks on there, you're going to be able to see it more, right? Oh, right. Okay. So if there's texture, you're going to see the texture more when you add the pigment stick. Is it hot? Not hot enough. Because it's sticking to it. Okay. I think I can now scrape a little bit. Okay. Some of the cuts. I told you last time when I'm working, I'm constantly misplacing. I know it's almost like you need a side table for art supplies. Like your bags of paint and stuff seem like they're distracting because uh -huh. you take up a lot of your table space. Yeah, but I put everything away, but for that reason okay so. you know what you can do you can get like a little tray like a little tray and put all the tools on the tray so that they don't get under things or you know what i mean under the stencils 
Um, let me try. Oh, okay. Well, I got the these cards. I got two of these cards from the container store. I don't know if you guys have container store. Yeah. Yeah, with wheels. So today, oh, I just yeah. organize everything so it's not on the table. But then oh, that's when I great. Pull it out. That's great. That's exactly what I was suggesting. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. So I'm just cleaning around the flowers. Okay. I mean, this is your art and like drawing the flowers is fun. Now remember too, they don't all, stencils are coming, are on the wax, right? Uh-huh. But you could also draw into the wax. You could trace a flower. You can use the stencil and draw a line uh -huh. into there. You can also embed flowers in there. So if you, remember how we cut the flowers out of the um, uh -huh. wrapping paper? That's right. And we glued them down, but you can also use those types of collage elements uh -huh. in the wax. So not under the wax, but actually in the wax. What do you mean, like the collage element in so, the wax? So remember how we used the white flowers? Yes. We glued them down. Yes. Well, if you had more cutouts from like a magazine uh -huh, and different. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could cut them out and you could use the wax as glue and embed them in a layer closer to the surface than the other flowers. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we can try that next time. If you cut out a couple of flowers out of a magazine. Okay, I'm going to write it down so I can read. Or um, anything like on rice paper or tissue paper or mm -hmm. from a magazine. Now I also um, brought some lace mm -hmm. and actual like flowers, but I don't, I mean, you wouldn't use like flowers. I don't like, I don't like things three-dimensional like that, that's unless right. you glue yeah. it on, but you can, if you want that 3D look, that's entirely up to you. I do like that lace is beautiful. Wait, hold it up. Let me see if it will work. Yeah. Okay, that will work, but it'll be very, very soft and the and not and not really where the flower is because the flower is it would be around the flower. Does that make sense? So you mean I actually would cut this out and you can make, use that as a stent. Yeah, you can make a, a a copy of that. You can make a mirror copy of that in the wax if you want to. In other words, like a, use it like a stencil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lay it down and put wax over it and you can pull it out. Oh. Yeah, or you can leave it in there. Right, you that's what I was some, thinking. You want to leave it in the piece? Because I, I thought so, but not maybe in this, maybe some of the flamingo dancers. Okay, yeah. You yeah. can cut it up into little pieces. You can cut the flowers out and you can use and the then, wax. Yeah, you can lay it okay. in there. Yep. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I would just focus on where else you want more flowers right now. And I feel like you're going to need a couple more. Okay. Balance out the composition. Um, Maybe around here or here. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe there, but like very 
pale, like almost trans, very translucent. Okay, because there is a flower that's sort of at a profile here. Yeah. So I feel like you could add them in there, but like you see, do you, you know what I mean by opaque? The ones that you have on there are opaque, meaning you can't right. see through them. So maybe so you could a add a lot more, more wax. Yeah, put a lot more medium into the paint. So it's okay. more translucent. I think that could be fun. And okay. do you have another type of flower? I do. I have this. I don't know that I love so much, but yeah, it's a little it heavy. Pretty, it's a little heavy. heavy. Yeah. I'll, um... Now it might be interesting, I think, to add another stencil pattern with wax, either poke, do you have a stencil with polka dots? I believe I do. That could be fun. Uh-huh, okay. I divided my um, flowers to other, like, um, this is sort of like big and small. Oh, I love that. Let's add that somewhere. So put that somewhere. Well, let's finish the flowers first. Okay. So this other flower that's um, translucent. Um, let's, let, let's add a couple translucent flowers and then we'll add the polka dots. And then I think we're done. And then I think we're ready to, to paint it. You don't want to go too crazy. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I have a lot of flowers, but I don't like all of them. But okay. Well, then don't, don't use them. Like this is okay, but it's small. Yeah, I like that one. But we could just do a bunch. So the thing about having something small like that is you can do like a cluster. You know, like how a hydrangea oh. is? Okay. A lot of times flowers grow in groupings, right? So put them really close together. Yeah, let's make something fun. All right. All right, so I'll do that. So what I have to do is have to keep moving it. I would just keep doing it, yeah. And then so okay, so let's say I have cl clusters. Where like think of like flowers cascading. Over yeah. Here. Yeah, I like it. And I think that they should go. I think that do you see how there's a space between the two white flowers? Yeah. No, the space between the two collage flowers. Oh, these. Okay. Yeah, I think that there should be a bunch of little flowers that are kind of like, yeah, light okay. and dark. Yeah, and going over. Okay, the idea here can hold up the piece for me for a second. Um, um, let me take a picture. Back up a little bit. Hold on. Let's do a quick um, screen share. Okay. Hold on, let me put this into Photoshop. Take a break, come look at the computer for a second. Okay. Okay, so this is what you have, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what I want you to work on is this line, this line over here, this straight line. I uh -huh. want you to get rid of it. Okay. So like, it looks to me like there's actually like a rose right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's one flower. So you need to add a flower. I'm gonna draw, see if I can draw a line. Let me see if I can remember how to 
I don't really know how to draw in Photoshop. Let me see. Paint, well, hang on, let me see. Let me pick a color. I need to improve my Photoshop skills here. I know, I forget so quickly when I don't use it for a while. I know, well, I just, I don't, it's not my preferred uh, medium. Uh -huh. So I was thinking like, you know, along this line, uh -huh. to kind of like cross where these flowers can sort of cross over from the picture okay. to the other world, you know? Okay. And what happens is they can sort of cluster, you know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. And that'll kind of make it look like there's like a trellis here or a bunch of flowers kind of growing, right? In this corner. Yes. All right, let's see if that looks good. So what do you think? I think it's good. I, the only thing that, I was thinking it looks like it's going down a line. Here? Yeah, on both sides like that and here. You know, like an upside down V it seems like. Well, you wanna put more in the middle? You could- Like, or- Add more. I mean, you think more, does that look better where there's more? Maybe. I mean, to me, like if it's growing, like, you know how um, wisteria grows in long, uh -huh. phony bunches and they go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. You like it more full like that? Probably because then it's not, the two lines are not as Well, pronounced. why don't you, why yeah. don't you start, forget about these for now. And okay. start with this grouping. Okay. Start with just, what about just the upper grouping? Okay. And forget about the ones going down the line. Okay. Does that, does that feel like a better? Yeah. Okay. Um, also this flower, I feel like it's too thick. Uh -huh, right. Too obvious, it's too thick. It stands out too much. So mm -hmm. one of the things that you could do is you can soften it. Also, what is going on on the top of her head here? Oh, this is a wax you added. Yeah, that gray, I added where it was gray. Okay. Just like brushed gray in there, it didn't. It looks like she's wearing some type of like headpiece. Ah, uh-huh. So maybe, and also is there, what is the, is there another flower here? What is yes, this? there's a big sunflower. Right here? Uh-huh. Okay. So you need to paint that flower because right now it looks like she's bald right there. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Right. So this flower needs a center, like it needs a center and all of these petals need to be like painted. Painted. Do you see what I'm like that? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yes. So you can just paint that with a brush. You have, you're gonna have to just make this flower just like that. Okay. Did you see how I drew it? Yes. So I did the circle here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I did all these pieces. Hang on one second, it's my husband. Hello? Hey. I'm on my Zoom till seven. We already had this conversation. That would be awesome. And a baguette. Can you do that? Is that possible? Okay. I'm losing it. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we literally already had two telephone conversations about dinner. That's what it's okay. I was what thinking you, baguette sounds good. <laughs> uh, baguettes are always good. I know. I ate a lot of bread today. Whatever. Oh, well. <laughs> um it's a bread day yeah why not i know what the heck so what do you think about that i mean let's make I it think awesome. that's good and i, I like think it you're right that white and as much as it's pretty it's kind of a 
neon it comes i know but let's not worry about that right now because okay. part of the reason we might be thinking that it's too bright is because we don't have anything else okay do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. right and it looks like you really have flowers like you have these little these are like pansies so you know what i want you to look for mm -hmm. as the embedding i want to give you an assignment i want you to see if you can find pictures of pansies and look this is what you can do too watch this oh wait hang on watch this for a second so if Google you go on, pansies yeah if you go if you go onto the internet you can and you have a printer at home right yeah you can just look watch you can google a flower right and then you can go to images and you can print any of these. Right. But that's the shape that I feel like I see there. And look, here's the pink ones. I make it black and white and then print it, right? Well, if you want, you can add color or you can make it black and white. I mean, I like this one. You have to find ones that you like. Like, I like this one. Yes, I was just going to say. I think this is the best picture of all the pictures on there. And I yeah. actually like this color. So you could print it in color and in black and white. But if you printed this and then you cut these little pansies out, right? they would look great around her. Oh, okay. Because you yeah. actually, like it's, it, you need this color. And this yeah. is a beautiful color. Yeah, so it's Pan American seed. Uh, and there's, look, there's wild pansies too. Let's see. I mean, you can just Google, you can even look at pansy drawings. See, look at now, look at the wild ones. They're all, look how beautiful these colors uh -huh, are. Yes. These are the colors we want. Yes. So also what we've also done by Googling is we've discovered a color palette that we like. Yes. So, so I mean, especially for this um, painting. Yeah. I love it. So let's follow this color palette. You can also notice when you see a picture like this too, inside the pansy is yellow, green, right? Uh -huh. So you can use this as information, mm -hmm. right? And do a little yeah. research so that you are justified sort of in what you're doing. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so let's blow it up big. So inside each pansy, there's dark purple, there's yellow, right? Each of these pansies are a slightly different shade of pink or red, right? Mm -hmm. Purple. And these will be with the um, oil paint? Well, I'm suggesting that we try a couple in color and a couple in black and white. So you do one color, one black and white, and we're going to use them next time. Right. So we're not going to use any paint over it after that no and not if we do it in color no we'll see how it looks i i, yeah. I like these i mean you can use any of those any of those um xerox any of if okay. you can pick them out any yeah, of yeah pansies i made a note out. of it i'll email you this too i'm gonna print kidding? it in black and white i mean i'm sorry in color i would do both yeah and then Put them in this so put them a little bit everywhere or would you put them in a particular or would you do here um yeah i'm thinking that they should go wait, let's look at the picture again it's easier for me to look at the picture hang on actually these are not pansies that are here but they look like pan what are they? Yeah, those wild flowers. I forget. Well, if you if you can remember the flat the actual flower that it is, you can. But I think they should go all here around her neck. And then the cool thing is they can be coming out over the wall if you want them to. Uh -huh, I mean, they're yeah. technically going to go all down around her shoulders, like down. Okay. At the bottom, down here. Right here. Uh huh. You can put one here, one here, one here, right? One here, one here. 
And this will sort of counterbalance the flowers that you're putting at the top. At the top. And then if you want to, like one could go here, right? Yeah. And then it's like, again, like this nice, like what you have going on here, where it's like something's coming over, something's going under, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I think that's busy enough. I honestly, if we do that, I don't think we have to add anything else anywhere. Maybe a couple of the polka dot stencils though, like down on the bottom down here, down here. Oh, over the polka dots? Yeah, over one of the sections of polka dots. I just can't decide. Or maybe up here in the corner, instead of, you know, because we don't have anything here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe here. I don't know. Let's just see. We have a lot of things we need to do though. So which thing do you want to do first? Yeah, I think um I could do the polka dot now, or do you want to wait till I have all the flowers? Um, whatever you want. I think I mean should... I can do these guys, these I think clusters. we should do the little ones. I think we should do the little it's 640. We got 20 minutes. Okay. You have to look for the pansy, so we can't do that today. Why don't we do the little flowers and the polka dots, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, no, that's fine. But I did want to ask you, yeah, um, like a technique question with, right. um, with the stencils. So these kind of, am I right in thinking I had too much paint? And that's why they came out so thick and they went out of line. Probably. What can I do? What, um, I can't speak today. <laughs> that's okay, probably too much paint and probably too much paint and probably um, too much wax paint. And maybe you needed a little bit more medium with the wax paint, makes it a little bit lighter and mm -hmm. not so much. Mm -hmm. it, it was too heavy and too much. Exactly. Yeah. And the same with these two. Okay, so just lighten up, make it more. Well, I add new. a lot of I add a lot of wax medium to all of my wax paint. So you know, I mean, I it was probably my fault because I wasn't watching you carefully enough. But um, if it's just too much wax paint, it's too dense. It gets very yeah, it was, right? it's too, yeah, too dense. It's not the soft feel that I I think I like. So, um, okay, so I'll do this stencil. And what color do you think I would use there? Oh, we said translucent white. Yeah, very translucent white or very light gray, very, I think very translucent white for all those little flowers. Yeah. And you can change the color every time. They should not all be the same color, right? Uh -huh, okay. How are they turning out? I think it's 
good. I just, my hands shook a lot. That's okay. Um, no, they don't need to be regular. Okay. So you need to, that color is very cool uh -huh. in comparison. You need to warm up that color and lighten up that color. So maybe even add like a little bit of yellow to it or a little bit of wax medium, which is, and maybe a little bit more white or neutral white. Oh, you mean on top of this? No, in the paint that you're painting with. On the palette, you need to mix it on the palette. For the next- um, Couple flowers, yeah, do a couple more flowers. Yeah, the first three came out really nice, but then at the end, my hands shook and it kind of- Yeah, but, you have, yeah, but they don't, I mean, they, we actually honestly don't want them to be perfect because if they look too sharp, it's not gonna look good. They have to look kind of blurry because you really only want people to stay focused on her face. So okay. this is like a background and the background is out of, it's like technically out of focus, right? Yeah, okay. So, so don't try to, one. yeah, don't try to make it over sharp or over perfect because that's not what you want. So this, so I added some yellow. Okay. I... What happened? I just like, I'm not happy about what I'm doing. Why? What's going on? Say it. Um, you have to tell me. You have to paint. My and... hand is shaking a lot. Uh huh. Well, that um, stencil, that stencil is so small. Yeah, but I also, I'm trying to do it too fast instead okay. of taking my time. Well, don't rush. You don't need to rush. <laughs> Thank you. And then, so what happens for instance, when I know they all look like a mush, right? But up close, you can kind of see them. But like when I'm doing this and I'm brushing, it goes on to the other flowers because my stencil is so small. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have enough border around I, it. I actually no. like the way that looks. I just leave it and move over, move over to this other, move over to the other, to the left and do a couple. I'm having, I don't, I don't mind the way they look actually. I just don't love the color, but we can, yeah, over there. Uh, yeah. So go here, you mean? You so, need to go, yeah, and you need to go into, into the picture a little bit. Maybe work on the other side. Maybe work on the, on the right side of the flower. Yeah, maybe leave that there. I think that those flowers all have to connect. So you have to do one, one okay. more. One more to the, these two flowers are connected to this. Which, I'm sorry, I don't know which one you're which talking about. The two flowers closest to your hand. The two flowers closest to your hand. This? Right here. Next this? to this. No, and the you, two flowers, the collage breaking, flowers. So I can't hear. You're talking about these two flowers? These two, these two flowers. These two flowers that you collaged, yes. You need to connect them to the other flowers. This is like meant to be one, oh, I one see. grouping. So I'll go here. Yeah, connect them. Oh, I, yeah, I'll go here. yeah, like put one that's connecting them. Okay. So it's one group of flowers. They're just different sizes. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. And then we have format. And, and then we, that's, format. yeah, then that's fine. And then um, for the color, and then make it more color, make it more. I I I use the wrong brush. I I I use the wrong brush.
Let's take a look. How does it look? Yeah, I love it. I love it. So it go ahead look and like hydrangeas come it does look like a hydrangea. I think it's really quite beautiful, actually. I think you would fuse it very lightly. Be careful fusing it because it's like, yeah. layered. it's very layered. And I, I really know, and they're all gonna melt into each other. You're smiling. I mean, I actually think it's really cute. I love it. I think you did a great job. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. I think it looks great. So go ahead and just fuse it so it doesn't fall off. Okay, that's probably good. Good. Stop. No more. Yeah, don't eat. It's fine. That's all good. So with stencils, light on the paint and light on fusing. Yep. Yep. Exactly. That's yeah. You learn. Yeah. I mean. You did a great job with that leaf stencil. I mean, I think that bigger stencils for you are easier. The little ones are harder. Did you cut that one so it was little? Yeah. Okay, so maybe don't cut them in the future. I think that it makes it hard with your hand. It really makes it really hard. But I think the problem was that there were a few flowers on one, or maybe I should just put a tape instead of cutting around it, yeah. So um, there are some stencils out there that are like, you can Google wisteria stencils or um, wisteria is a beautiful flower. Like I'd have to say, like, I don't actually love all the flowers, but uh -huh. I really do like the wisteria. I like um, uh, the roses. I like the shape of the pansies. I like the peonies, the, you know, I don't love the sunflowers or sunflower stencils, uh -huh. but um, some of those other flowers I really like. Yeah, I forget what the name of these are at the bottom. They're, yeah, yeah. So you can remember the name of them. Yeah, I'll find them. Okay, yeah, I love it. I mean, I think the piece is coming together like really, really well. Yeah, and then, so don't do the polka dots yet anywhere. Yeah. No, yeah, we can do that. We were going to do that last. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I kind of like them where you had them. Put them on the top there. Yeah. Okay. So my question is, I do you think we need them in the upper right-hand corner? It's either there or in the middle. What do you think? Or in the middle. Yeah, it's either there. I kind of like it there. Yeah, better than here, because then it's too, like maybe here. I like it there. I do, or on the, go to, no, I don't want, oh. Oh my God, that's hard. We could put a little bit, I mean, I, I love that. I love the polka dots. Yeah. Um, hmm. Go to the upper, right hand corner again all right i don't like it there now i like it there what do you think or there i think i like yeah. it there i think i like it there in between yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and um a light color so it could be i don't know it could be pink or it could be gray light gray like this maybe yeah, it could, it could be, yeah, light pink. Or maybe light green. No, I wouldn't put green at the top because we're going to use green. Um, we're going to use green a lot to add. So very light pink, translucent pink, you think? I would, I like it. You know, part of me do, wants to make it like the center of the white flowers. What color is that? Are they like yellow, yellowy orange? No, oh, the, the, oh this? Peas. Yeah, they're yellowish orange peach i know what about peach oh busy something in this family you think i kind of do because then it kind of is like they're they're continuing that sort of thread but like uh -huh. like fading away in the distance 
Uh huh. Little yellow. Because here we have pink. Yeah, I don't want to do. We pink have pink. Top. Yeah, I don't want to do pink at the top. You know what it kind of reminds me of is like, look at this for a second. Um. Let me hold on one second. Oh, will you send me a picture of that? Please? Yeah. Yeah. Or I can take a picture. Um, hold on. Lurry lights. Like this. This is what uh -huh. I'm. So this is what I was thinking about. Oh, there. There's a name for yeah. Isn't I love this look. So uh -huh. if you create the use those polka dots to kind of create that as that background around that back of her head will be so pretty. How can I do that? Well, you're gonna do it with the polka dotted stencil. But this is oh, and then put wax over it to make it fuzzy. No, no, we're just gonna do it with the stencil, but it's gonna look like this. Oh, really? Yeah, we could or like that. Yeah, it's gonna look like this. So it's yellow. It's yellow, like peach, yellow, and white, right? Hmm. Do you like the look of that? I love it, but I can't even imagine how I could. So this would be like several um, stencils, like do one and do another one. Yeah, let's just do one tonight. So let's pick the, so do you see how in this picture there's like um, lights and darks? Uh-huh of the circles so it's yes. kind of and i'm gonna send this to you so it's like peach light yellow white so it's maybe the stencil's done a couple times right I'll or do i take the same stencil and part of it do white part of it do yeah you could you could okay. you could do that um, let's just do one color right now and let's leave it for tonight because we're gonna okay. I got I got a grumpy I got a grumpy you know what who just got home from work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to say it. All right. I'm very familiar. Yeah. It happens too many days a week. Um, yeah. so yeah, let's try like a light, like a light yellow yellow. Cause see how see how there's like yellow in your green. I think we might have I like that yeah. so whatever kind of tone that is but a little bit warmer and don't worry about the polka dots being perfect they don't they need to be far from perfect they need to be blurry and like have movement and that's what's fun about this medium too right is yeah so I'll take this down And then I'll hurry up. Okay. Think light and airy, think light, light and airy. So, so we need to talk about this next week, but the idea with the opacity in the wax is that, is that, you know, a lot of things in life have, um, light can go through them, right? So we want to sort of evoke that idea that these are not solid, solid things, but they're more like whimsical things. Right. So one of the ways that you can entice, like, inspire whimsy is by um, transparency. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's using more wax medium with the thing. Yeah, I just put a lot more this time, but I think my color is still 
kind of on the cold side, but let's see. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's okay. So what we need to do, just fuse it and then what we're going to fuse it and then um, clean it up. No. Yeah. Fuse it and just stop there. And we're going to come back to it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not upset with that at all. And I think that there's a lot we can do with that. Okay. The wax don't, don't get intimidated by the wax. It's the hardest. Yeah, I, I really do get intimidated by it. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Don't. 